Hi guys, Todd here. Right, this is um, not long in the door, just a few days. Uh, the Sterigon by GG, a Golden Greek. Now this, uh, I'll be honest, I've not been keeping up to date with what's been happening. I've just been thinking, when's the Proteus coming? But the Sterigon, uh, lo and behold, here it is. I the didn't... Has just arrived didn't even know it was going to be a 21mm device and that for me straight off the bat was a bit of a surprise it's a 21mm device there has to be a new atomizer coming along as well has to be uh, however aside from that it does mean that finally there is and I said this in my vlog I've run out of uh, non-resistance wire so um, I've not been able to use my little old IATI on it as yet uh, which is killing me but the IATI looks absolutely stunning on it uh, it's so good to have a, a GG mod and to go with the IATI it's just yes I'm a bit of a fanboy let's get this out of the way now uh, I'm running it with uh, an Aqua just now, which is also a 21mm device. Um, I'll have a quick vape. And even the dog likes it. You can hear the dog barking over in the other garden there. Uh, this is 139.05 euros. Uh, it comes as standard with an 18 500 tube. The 18650 tube is 21 euros and 36 and the 18350 tube is 1545 euros and I'm going to go and strangle that dog in a minute. It's top mounted side firing button right up here and it's got this throw on it that's just so light. I mean, it's very, very light. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a good switch. It's a good switch. Um, before I start gushing, uh, I, I do have a lot of positives to say about this. I do have some negatives as well. Uh, but before we get going, I did get this from eSmoke Guru. This was sent on to me free for review. Uh, I did have a couple of little issues with this. I've spoken to Emio already about them and uh, sorted them. Uh, but uh, I think we'll just crack on and uh, hopefully that dog will shut up. So here's the, the switch. Um, broken down into its component part. So this is the top starting over here and then working down our way down the way of the tube okay it's not as complicated as it looks it has to be said so effectively is the top cap with your airflow control you know you've got a couple of oops you've got o-rings inside there and you know it just slides over and that's you now we then have this piece here You see that's threaded in the inside there. And this actually just should point out, be careful, there is a little uh, section there on top. I've got some juice in there. Oops. So I'll just pop that back on. And this actually just pushes right inside there. Like so. We then have a spring. Which is going to sit in there like that. We then have this little guy here who sits on top of there like that. And we have this bit goes over the top like so. And you're just going to screw this right down. It's actually easier to be perfectly honest if you do this outside 
rather than pushing the house and in there, do the whole thing outside. So what I'll do is I'll just push this back out and then tighten this up. Now you want to make sure that this is tightened right up. You know, it's not to be slack. So I'm just going to get my, my little screwdriver on the end here. Make sure that's nipped up tight. So there's the top section. And once again, this just slides in there like so. So that's the top piece. We then have our switch housing here. We have this little piece ins insulator here that just sits in there like that. And this just screws on like so. Now you can see where the contact is in there. So here's the button. Once again, the button has a little spring and there's some little O-rings in there. And this just drops straight in like this. You just give it a push and then it goes. You can see the action, hopefully you can see the action in there. Now we have to put the, the bottom assembly together with the switch. There's inside the switch. See the action there? This little cap was just sitting in there. Then we're back to this piece here. So once again, we've got a spring. Sits on there. This little nipple top cap here. And once again, we're going to thread this together. And you want that as tight as you can get it. And there we go. And that just pushes in like so. So you've got a spring action going on here. And you've also got a spring action going on at the top there. And that is your switch. Switch is absolutely stunning, by the way. Absolutely stunning. So there we go. There's the whole, the head, if you like, together. And that's me. I've given the button a firm push down, so that's it located. Um, it, it's almost like, <laughs> this is strange. It's almost like a touch sensor, this thing. It's so light. It really is very, very light to touch, and it does fire. There's the tube section. Now, this is the 18500 one. And you can buy an 18650 and an 18350 tube. And it just screws on like so. So there we go. You can see we've got uh, a little indicator on that middle ring there. Much like, uh, you know, a lot of the guys have got it, but it was at my mechanic started it off, you know, having the airflow indicator. Tell you what's going on there. And it works really well with the IATI. Woohoo! Right, let's show you the switch. Sorry, not the switch. Let's show you the bottom cap. Now, here's the, the base. This is a locking ring. Uh, so, this bit just screws on to here, like so. And in the normal use, you know, you would just unscrew a little bit like that to lock and unlock and I'll show you that later on so it's just that action there just a tiny little turn and you're good to go and you can see that we've got vents around the bottom here as well and vents in the top so I'm just going to screw this up tight just now what actually holds this in place wait for it you'll never believe what it is yes it's an o-ring uh, and I'm just going to push this down over here like so so that lets you unscrew this. You know, you only have to unscrew it a tiny little bit. And that's you. And then we have this piece here. Little Delrin bit. 
and <laughs> with another O-ring in it, and that just pops on there like so. Now, excuse my mucky fingers here and the fact that I'm covered in Vaseline, but when you're putting this bottom cap on, it, you will find that almost, you know, they look almost identical, the two ends. Uh, when you screw the, the bottom cap on one end, it'll go on and then it just doesn't seem to go any further. Take it off, pop it on the other end and... And it'll screw on and give you a nice tight flush look. And then there you go, you're unscrewing to lock and unlock the device. Now, a little warning with batteries. Uh, I have found, I mean, these are my E-Fest High Drain 18500s. Not going in. If I unscrew the bottom, it will go in then. So it's just something to watch out for. Yeah, I was changing my batteries from the taking the top off here, but you really want to be taking off the bottom bit to make sure your batteries go in and out no problem. Then take the switch section and just going to screw this on. And there we go, we're all together. Now remember you've got the inside here, you know, we've had a sprung load connection. We've got the sprung load connection, loaded connection in here as well. So, you know, when I'm screwing something on, uh, like an IATI here, covered my fingerprints, you know, you go, ah, too tight, it's not going to go, but just screwing it down. And, you know, because of the, the give you've got in here, uh, it works no problem. Got my... Uh, Aqua here, which is another 21 millimeter mod, uh, Atty, I should say. You know, it feels tight there. Just continue to screw it down. Firing away quite the thing. If I want to lock, just give this a turn here. That's it locked. Turn it back up. That's it firing away. Now, it does look like there's a lot of components there, and I suppose there are in the switch. But then, you know, when I think of things like the roller and the dingo, you know, it's not that bad. Now, when I initially got this, I checked the voltage drop on it, and the voltage drop was pretty crap. Uh, I was getting, with a 1.6 ohm coil, I was getting 0 0.4, 0 0.45 voltage drop, which is pretty grim. Uh, I did get in touch with Emio and um, he suggested a couple of things which I tried and this I will pass on to you so you know that how to sort this. Um, it's so simple, it really is so simple. First thing, over time, uh, Emio has done a video of this already, pull the switch out, get a little bit of stainless steel mesh uh, and just go over the tip of the button in the inside. Uh, you don't have to rub it hard or anything like that, just give it a little clean and that's you. That's the only maintenance you should have to do on the switch on the inside. What I noticed was, and this is off Emio's advice again, I went from, and I kid you not here, uh, I thought I had done this bottom section up tight. I was getting point, I mean, like, seriously, I was getting like 0.45 almost uh, on a drop. I just nipped it up a tiny little fraction. I just made sure it was done up tight. And I've just done another reading and it's dropped to 0.18. What a difference, a huge difference. Uh, and I can immediately tell in the vape. Uh, I'm vaping with the, the, the blah, 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 blah from Austria. Um, and I've just locked this. So just turn the bottom, remember? Now, I will say, and I'm going to be completely honest here, it does perform quite well. I mean, this is, uh, forget what bill I've got going on in here just now. I'll just double check. Uh, that's a, sorry, that's a 1.5 ohm build I've got in there just now. 
and it's performing quite well. Going to be perfectly honest, uh, it's not a bad performer, it's good. It's not the best performing mod I've ever come across. Um, I don't think it's anywhere near as good performance wise as say things like the uh, your hybrid mods, um, you know, just with that direct connection to the battery, uh, things like the Nemesis and things like that, you know, it's good, but it's not as good as some other mods in the market. I'm just glad that the voltage drop is not as bad as I initially thought it was. Just bear in mind, if you are suffering from performance loss, just make sure that everything's nipped up tight and uh, that'll do it. Just have to make sure things are tight. Another thing I have to wonder about, uh, and I don't know if it'll be something you might come, possibly MEO will come out with down the line, is I don't know if brass springs, you know, you've got those two wee springs and those connectors. I don't know if brass springs in there would make any difference at all to the performance. Uh, I'm Yeah, I've not got any uh, brass springs, but I would love to try a couple of brass springs in there and see if it does make a difference. Um, there are a lot of connections in the switch, so that is going to affect performance. Listen, I, I would say the performance is not is pretty much the same as the roller and the dingo. Um, a standard roller and dingo, not with rhodium contacts or silver plated contacts. As somebody who likes Golden Greek products and likes the way they're manufactured and likes vaping with them, I'm happy with this device. If I was somebody that was not a GG fan, I would say that there are better devices on the market. I've got to say that, I've got to be honest. Um, I do like, I mean, with the IATI, it's just, for me, it's like hallelujah. It's just, um, it's like when I finally got the Kato mod. Uh, you know, I've been waiting two years for that and I'm so excited. And then to finally find out that there's a 21mm GG mod, tube mod, um, that just looks so cool with the IATI on it. It's another, for me personally, it's another yeehaw moment. In saying that, it's not a mod that I would personally recommend to people that don't have GG gear. You'd have you have to be a GG fan to go for this. Um, I know I might get shot down from a lot of places and end up in trouble for saying that, but it's just my personal opinion. The switch is a highlight. The switch is is just so responsive. It really is. And it's just a tiny little light touch. Um, the locking switch, you know, just give it a little turn at the bottom. I like that. I do like that. I like the venting in it. Um, I find it, yeah, it's good. Uh, and I am going to go and buy an 18350 tube for this as soon as I can because they're out of stock. Arse! And I've just noticed that they do a small tank version of the IATI now. And I, I can't believe that. I didn't even know there was going to be such a thing. It's a, a smaller IATI. It's 92 euros. It's the mini IATI. E-Smoke Guru Edition. Uh, it's like the normal one, but the body is shorter with engravings on it. And it's got a 3mm capacity. And I think that'll just look bloody lush on this. So there's something else that I'm going to have to buy. <sighs> <laughs> Another thing I haven't mentioned that I really like, and I mentioned this in my, my vlog at the same time, is, I mean, I have a GGTS and a Just GG. I have uh, an Ayate and a Thaka and various other bits and bobs. I've got a drawer full of GG gear here, and I love it to bits. Um, recently, with the, especially the Just GG, uh, I wasn't a huge fan of all the engravings going on in it. I really like this because it just has GG. That's all it has on it. 
and and it's really it just gives it that sleek clean look for me um so that's it from me on uh, the duda um personally i like it a lot i'm a fan of it if you're a gg fan i would thoroughly recommend you go and get one if you're not a GG fan, then I'm afraid I'm going to say that there are better devices out there that you could get for your money. And that's it. Thank you to eSmoke Guru and Emio uh, for sending this on to me. I did get this free for review. And as always, guys, thank you to you for watching. And why am I talking so slowly? I don't know. Uh, that's it. I'm away. We'll catch up soon. Cheers now. Bye.